In a UK primary school, I remember seeing these as a kid, but can't remember what they're for. Here I was, so confident that it was a skateboard rack or something. But no, place two of these down and put a pole in one of the rungs and you've made yourself a hurdle. What is this fancy looking bike rack type thing? There were two in front of some casual dining restaurants, about four foot tall. Not quite a bike rack, instead that middle post holds garbage cans. They were likely removed before this photo for disposal or cleaning. What is this 10-inch rubber-coated steel ball used for? Pretty simple, but neat that it was identified all the same. This is the ball from a ball check valve. What is this thing with a magnet on one side and a tiny blade inside? This little device opens food bags with ease, meant to be kept on your fridge with that magnet for easy access. I saw it at a local auction, labeled as mystery tool. Looks like it's got two cranks and maybe a turntable? This is an old piece of canning equipment, namely a sealing machine. What is this cement rolling block with pipe handle, outside old Massachusetts home from 1934? If you don't quite feel like mowing your lawn, try using this lawn roller to tamp it down for a while and give your lawn an even appearance. My neighbor has just put this on his roof. It seems to be aimed directly at my female housemate's bedroom window and she is concerned it's another camera. This looks like a camera of some kind, but it's actually a surveying tool that measures subsidence, basically the process of buildings gradually settling downward. Anyone have an idea what this was used for? It clips on to counter or table. Talk about portability, this is a clip-on ashtray. This strange object from Tiffany's, mysteriously given to my wife by her grandmother, while refusing to say what it was. The description of this object lends it an air of mystery, but it's actually pretty straightforward, this is a drink muddler, used for stirring and mixing drinks. found in a hidden basement cubby in a house I just bought. They look like they have some sort of organic, plant-like material in them. We think the previous residents may have been some form of pagan. Don't know if that has anything to do with it. Since you mentioned that the previous owners may have had pagan beliefs, these are likely witch bottles meant for some sort of spell. They're commonly filled with red wine and herbs before sealing with wax. I wondered why our neighbor poured a cinnamon cross onto the front porch. I'm not sure about the cross part, but cinnamon is a great way to deter ants from coming into your home. They don't like it and won't cross a line of it. What is this small pitted bowl made of heavy brass? It's actually half of an antique golf ball mold. Before the 20th century, golf balls had raised dimples on the surface, rather than ones that curved inward. What is this slimy orange goo-filled squishy thing in my front lawn? Is a question I never want to ask. It's a bird egg without a shell, which can occasionally occur if the mama bird is suffering from nutritional problems. Most likely, this is a goose egg, as it's tennis ball-sized. Sometimes, the former residents leave strange things behind. In this case, they must have been a fan of wine, because those are IKEA wine racks. The bottles are meant to go in sideways, which can be confusing if you've never seen that before. 
Sometimes you see the weirdest things being driven down the highway. This oddity is a massive sulfur hexafluoride circuit breaker, presumably on its way to a power station somewhere down the road. This was found with a bunch of World War II memorabilia. What are they? It's a compact cleaning kit for a Mauser 98K rifle. They were issued to German soldiers as a way to keep their weapons in good shape. What is this long and white thing hanging from the ceiling in a restaurant on the Amalfi Coast in Italy? It's a Kukuza squash, which apparently translates to super long squash, hard to argue with that. No idea why it's just hanging from a ceiling though. Found in some dirt next to a bike path. It is 18 inch long, weighs several pounds, is very strongly magnetic, and all of the square pieces move individually. It's a large chain of neodymium magnets, which is a strange thing to lose along a bike path. I found this on a table I was cleaning at the restaurant I work at. What is it? It's a Hebrew pendant called a tetragrammaton. Likely important to the person who lost it, so they'd probably come back looking for it. I'm curious if anyone can tell me what this box is. It says Caswell Hazard and Co. on it. About 2 inches by 3 inches, found it in my grandfather's stuff, he collected anything he thought was neat. Definitely a neat collector's item, but not something to play with. It's an old medical kit. The medicines in the vials would be dissolved in water and then injected. Of course, most of those medicines are actually poisonous. I got this free with a bottle of Disarano. What is this thing? My first thought was a bottle stopper, but the open grooves wouldn't work well for that. Apparently, it's actually a small lemon juicer. This rack is full of wooden blocks, sorted by length and width. Origins unknown. The only label is a warning about wood shrinkage. The blocks are used in printmaking. After the type is set, the wooden blocks are used to fill the extra space and hold the type snugly. The previous owner didn't know and I have no idea. I had it for years now we use it in winter to keep drinks warm by the fire. What is it? Using it to keep drinks warm was the right thought. This is a fireplace kettle trivet for keeping that kettle going through the cold months. This equipment was on the side of a stage during a music concert. There are a lot of techs involved in a live concert and not all of it has an obvious purpose. This strange device is actually a helical antenna, which is used to send signals to wireless microphones or in-ear monitors. I found it on the Appalachian Trail near Watauga Dam in Tennessee, not sure if it has anything to do with the dam itself. It's likely a seismic sensor and listens for any rumbles in the ground below, which is an important part of maintaining the dam. It's also possible that it's a groundwater pollutant sensor, which looks similar. I found these in a box after my grandpa passed away. I don't know what they are. They were in the wrong box. They are the pieces to a board game called Admirals. Clearly, Grandpa was like me and could never keep game pieces properly put away. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.